Hi. When the composer Edward Elgar was in his 40s, he felt that his musical career was pretty much over and he decided to give up composition. But his great friend and publisher, August Jaeger, convinced him to carry on. He said, look, imagine how Beethoven felt when he was getting progressively deaf, but in fact his music got more and more beautiful. You can take heart from that. And he did, and he carried on inventing music. And one night in 1898, he was playing the piano at home and his wife stopped him and said, that's a beautiful melody. So he started experimenting with the tune he'd written, making different variations. Uh, in fact, he had lots of fun. He, he said each variation reflected the character of all his friends and he labelled them by their, his friends' names. Uh, and what you're going to hear now is the one to do with his friend, Jaeger. Now, Jaeger in German means hunter. And in the Bible, the great and mighty hunter is Nimrod. So this piece um, actually isn't meant to reflect Jaeger. It reflects that conversation and the strength that it gave him. And actually these 43 bars have come to mean a great deal to many people and given a lot of people strength. And as we look towards the Liberation Weekend, uh, we know that this particular piece helped people survive the occupation. So this is... Elgar's Nimrod from the Enigma Variations. <laughs> 